Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. If you were to ask the current 2022 Toyota Tundra owners, and there aren't too many yet, or potential 2022 Tundra owners, and ask them what are a few things they really want in the Tundra that they are not getting in the new model. I think what they're going to say is, well, obviously one, they want the V8 back. That's not gonna happen. But two other things come to my mind. One is that they're going to want free remote engine start for life of the truck, because this has been a really hot topic. And secondly, they're going to want tow hooks or recovery hooks, we call them, on the new Tundra. These has been some of the hottest topics ever since the new Tundra was uh, released and launched. And as far as the subscription service and the remote engine start is concerned, I've already talked about that in the past, so I'm not gonna cover that right now. But the hottest topic that keeps coming back to me from all the viewers is why did Toyota not put tow hooks in the new Tundra? And in fact, they're supposed to offer it as an option, but we haven't seen it yet. So what is the real story behind the tow hooks? And why did Toyota marketing people, engineers, and generally speaking, the entire management agree to omit having the tow hooks in the new Tundra? I think it's driving some people crazy. So I'm going to give you my perspective and my opinion on why I think Toyota never included the tow hooks to begin with on the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now please note that this is my opinion and not official statement from Toyota, but I think there are three reasons why Toyota did not include the tow hooks right from the beginning for the new Toyota Tundra. One, to improve efficiency and to improve the aerodynamics, which is what we've been hearing from the Toyota engineers. Two, to lower the overall cost of engineering and producing the Tundra. And three, safety factors. Now there may be other secondary reasons why Toyota did not put the towing hooks, but I think those three things are the primary factors contributing to that decision of not having the tow hooks. So let me go through these three things in detail, step by step. Before I go too far, keep in mind that Toyota has officially said they plan to include some kind of optional package where you can add the tow hooks at a later time. And in fact, if you look at the, um, the air dam that uh, deploys electronically in some of the models of Tundra, you can actually see uh, two cutouts on the air dam. So it almost looks like they're planning to introduce the uh, tow hooks, at least as an options and accessory later on. But so far we have not heard from them officially and my contact with Toyota dealership have also said there's nothing in the pipeline. So I'm sure that the tow hook as an option is coming down the road, but so far we haven't seen it and we don't know when it's gonna come and how much it's going to cost. And keep in mind that there are other ways to tow the truck either from the front or the back, even if you don't have tow hooks because you can attach a number of recovery points to the frame itself Yes, attempting to pull the truck from the front at least by attaching to the frame underneath could rub against the plastic bumper and possibly damage them. But at least in the rear, you can simply attach to the rear hitch and pull it out that way as well. Either way, there's a way to pull the truck out, so that isn't a concern. But let's come back to these three key points, which I think is a reason why Toyota didn't include the tow hooks. So the first reason is something that Toyota has already mentioned to us officially, and that is not having the tow hooks can improve the aerodynamic efficiency. And that is because they can lower the front bumpers, they can lower the air dam a little bit more so that the wind is deflected, especially at high speed. So it can contribute to not just uh, improved uh, aerodynamic, but also obviously improved fuel efficiency. I don't think it's a whole lot. We're probably talking about, who knows, 0.2 to 0.5% at the very most at the highway speed. And at lower speed, of course, it makes no difference. So it's a bit of a questionable reason, I think, but it is definitely one of the factors why tow hooks weren't included. The second reason why I think the tow hooks weren't included is going to be a controversial topic, and it is simply financial or economic reason. By not having the tow hooks as a standard equipment on the Tundra, you can reduce a little bit of a cost per truck. Now, I know you might think this is ridiculous. Why is Toyota being so cheap about it? 
Well, if you look at other truck manufacturers, many of them do not include tow hooks actually in the standard format. They do include them in off-road versions. And because most truck owners do not use the front tow hooks, they probably decided that removing them would impact only a small percentage of buyers and they can actually lower the cost. Well, how much would they save? Well, that's a little bit hard to say, but let me give you one simple story. As you know, I've worked as an automotive engineer for many years, both in product development and also in manufacturing. And there was one time I was working in manufacturing and we actually won an award for producing the best paint job in the industry. And the president came down to us and said, you guys did a great job. You came up with a product that has the best uh, paint job in the industry. But you know what? It's too good. It's too much of a good thing. Lower the paint quality just a little bit more so we can save a little bit of money and still provide good overall paint job. And so after working through the what we call Kaizen method or continuous improvement method, we were able to lower the cost of the paint by $1 per truck. Well, that's not a big deal, you think. But we were producing 120,000 trucks per year and the life cycle of the uh, truck is at least five to six years. So you're looking at almost a million dollar saving over several years of a life cycle. And so it's a big deal, even if it's just a $1 of cost saving per truck or per vehicle. And that's why reducing the tow hooks from a Tundra in terms of being a standard equipment can have a substantial impact on the overall cost saving. And in this case, the cost of a tow hook in terms of engineering, designing, developing and manufacturing and installing onto the truck, it's going to be way more than a dollar per truck. Now who knows exactly how much Toyota will save by not having that tow hooks, but it could be in the neighborhood of, I don't know, eight to $10, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But if you were to say, assume for a moment it was $10 per truck, well multiply that by, they're going to produce roughly 120,000 trucks per year. Multiply that by maybe eight to 10 years of a total life cycle for a new truck. Well, that is a lot of money, $10 times 120,000 trucks per year times 10 years. Well, you do the math, is in millions. So even though it seems like a really cheap move, Toyota and many other car companies for that matter, carefully considers the economic and the financial impact of each model and they are always trying to find the lower cost. Now, before you get too upset about that, generally speaking, that lower cost also translates to lower MSRP for us. So you have to kind of keep in mind that they're going to pass some of that saving back to the consumers. So it's not just to help them make more money, it's also to lower the price for us. So I think that's the number two reason, which is economic and financially related in terms of not having a tow hooks. The third reason from my perspective is an important one, even though it might not have a financial impact or um, a fuel efficiency impact, and that is to do with safety. The towing hooks or the recovery hooks are one of the worst thing you can have in front of the truck or any vehicle for that matter, especially if you get into accident with pedestrians or cyclists because you've got two things sticking out that's attached directly to the frame. And if you hit something or someone, wham, well, those two things are gonna dig right into the, either the bumper of the next car or um, hit the pedestrians or cyclists. And you can do major damage both in terms of the vehicle side but also on the people's side. So by not having the tow hooks from the beginning and allowing the softer bumper to absorb the shock, well, you're going to obviously improve the uh, livelihood of whoever is on the receiving side of this potential accident. And how much difference would that make potentially to save more lives? Obviously, I wouldn't know that, but I'm sure Toyota has calculated and simulated this situation to figure out perhaps how many lives might be saved or at least how much less injury there will be if the tow hooks are not sticking out in the front of the bumpers. So I think that would be the third reason why the tow hooks were not standard equipment on the new Toyota Tundra. And it might not be a big deal for you, but if you ever are in a situation where you get hit by someone or you're driving something and you get hit, you'll quickly realize that those tow hooks are like katana cutting through things and it will be uh, detrimental to the livelihood of the people who are driving the car or who are driving the motorcycle or um, bicycles as well. Now, because so many of us are so upset and so emotional about these tow hooks, I wouldn't be surprised if they made the change for 2023 or maybe 2024 
to include them at least for let's say TRD Pro or off-road package because in off-road conditions you really want to have those tow hooks available. So let's hope and pray that those changes will come and eventually Toyota will include them as standard equipment uh, or at least offer them as accessory or optional for a very reasonable price with hopefully an easy attachment to the existing frame. But please let me know in the comment section below what you think of the reasoning I came up with and what you think Toyota should do over the next couple of years because if more and more people complain and talk about the tow hooks, I'm pretty sure they will eventually take that into account and some changes could happen. And if you're curious about aftermarket solutions for adding tow hooks to the front, well, no one has offered that yet and no one has figured out exactly how to do it yet. But if Toyota doesn't come through with this, I'm gonna contact some of the suppliers and accessory manufacturers to hopefully help them design something that can be attached to the existing frame in the front of the Tundra so that all of us can have a peace of mind that comes with having tow hooks in the front. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you can and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And please comment below so I know exactly what kind of things you're looking for or what you think of this video. I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.